Hello, so I wanted to show you guys something I cooked up really quickly and sent that it. Um, and so I, w it was, I was just thinking about guitars and um, how the, the pickup location will sample how the string is vibrating at a different location. And, uh, and so I knew like um, that that has an effect on how much relatively of the overtones it'll pick up and uh, and that some at some locations certain overtones will be um, can't uh, not move not getting picked up um, or will be in an er inverted phase uh, and so I wanted to kind of just visualize and understand better exactly what's happening there so um, Basically, I put together this patch, um, and then each of these rows is basically just a, a, a duplicate of the same thing, except for I'm just feeding it in a different harmonic, uh, which you can see here is just, I'm just feeding in these numbers. Um, so this way synthetic works, I can't just do like a for loop and uh, loop to infinity um, or the audible range. Uh, so I'd have to connect them each individually. So I went up to eight. Um, and so you can see here, this, this is a kind of a good sort of visualization of what a guitar string does. It like, it flops up and then it flops down and then it flops up and then it flops down. And so that gives you the, your fundamental frequency. Uh, so like this, this side would be whatever fret you're playing or the nut and this side would be the bridge. Um, that same string will also vibrate like this. It'll flop up and down, uh, and also like this, uh, it'll have like three and then four and then five and then six. Um, and so each of those is uh, a multiple of the fundamental frequency. And that's how you get your, your overtones. And you can see here to the right, um, especially if I kind of zoom out, you can see already with just uh, the eight overtones, how much that already kind of just looks like a, a saw wave. And a saw wave is uh yeah it just includes all the overtone uh, overtones in phase and uh with an inverse um volume for uh each overtone to uh the o what then the overtone is so like the f this first the second overtone will have a half volume the third overtone will have a third volume etc um and so what i've done with this patch is, uh, so all these oscillators are, 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 are syncing to this master pulse over here. Um, and then I've got this offset pulse, which is this yellow line you can see in each box. And uh, as I move this like simulated pickup location, you can see where, where the yellow line crosses the positive, um, I'm triggering a, a sample and hold module. And so I'm sampling the overtone at that location um, and you could so you can see here at like a bridge at a bridge position you know you're getting basically just increasing amounts of all the overtones um, and uh, and so a bridge position might even be like a little further over I, I, don't, I don't exactly I should have measured that um, but basically you can see you get increasing Im amounts until you get to like the higher frequencies and then you start getting some uh, Cancellation, cancellation, and 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 uh, inverse phase ones. But if if you would uh, to an extreme here, look at them. Uh, let's say you had a pickup at the twelfth fret, um, so you'd get very strong uh, fundamental frequency. Uh, the second harmonic, you wouldn't get any because it's it's because of the way the string is vibrating. It doesn't go up or down in the middle. It's going up and up and down in uh, different places. Uh, and then the third harmonic, you actually get a negative phase on it. And the fourth harmonic, again, you don't get any of that harmonic because um, because of the way the string's vibrating at that pre at that precise location, it's not go it's not moving up and down, um, etc. You can see every other harmonic, there is none. And then every other harmonic that you have is inverted. Um, and so, in hindsight, that's kind of obvious. Um, so let me zoom back out again. You can see, so in this box here, you can see what happens when you uh, 
add all the harmonics together as you sample them at that location, you basically you're getting a, a triangle wave. And then as you move towards the bridge, um, it's jumping around here because uh, there's some, I think it's a floating point error calculation once you get that close. Um, there's a little randomness to it. But um, basically it's a saw wave, just like uh, here. Uh, and so obviously on a gu guitar pickup, there's other factors that influence the sound, uh, just the kind of guitar strings and um, how hot wound the pickup is. Uh, you, then you've got like capac uh, capacitance and re resistance and, uh, and things in the circuit that will affect um, like a resonant frequency and, and a cutoff, like a, 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 basically there's a low pass filter. So, um, so you'll, you'll have a resonant frequency in the, in the, in the mids or the highs, and then you won't get anything. Then you'll get a roll off above that. So this, this, this obviously ignores, um, those aspects. Um, but yeah, as you, you can see, as you scroll here, kind of between the bridge and like a middle location, it, as just as you move closer and closer to the 12th fret, you uh, just, it becomes more and more like a, a triangle wave. And then towards the bridge position, you get uh, all, all, all of the available harmonics. Um, and so the way I built this, basically for each overtone, I'm, uh, I'm converting uh, from volts, uh, because this is acting like a synthesizer, it uses volts. So I just convert from volts to hertz and then I can multiply it by the number, the uh, harmonic number. So for the second harmonic, I, I multiply by two, and I convert it back to volts um, and use that to set the uh, sine wave oscillator. And then I just set the level by dividing by the overtone number. Uh, and then I just have a sample and hold module that, that um, as I described here, like where the, the yellow line goes positive, it, it takes the level of the sine wave there um, and so you can see that these voltmeters are showing also just the, the level of each, um, each harmonic on a scale of, uh, to five, because that's how this program works. Um, so, so here you can see at the middle, you get basically full volume on the, uh, first harmonic should be basically zero here, but uh, there's some error in the math, I guess. Um, and then here you have a negative, and here it should be closer to zero, and then here you have positive again. Uh, but yeah, so that's how I built this, and I think it shows, um, shows this idea pretty well. And I think I, you know, I learned a lot just by looking at this, so I wanted to share it. And yeah, so over here you can see the frequency analyzer that basically shows you the same thing, shows you different uh, harmonics are dipping at different locations. Um, and so one thing that would be kind of cool to check next would be to build uh, two of these side by side and uh, see what happens when you combine two different uh, pickup locations because uh, you know you might have one in one pickup location uh, let's say yeah this harmonic is positive in the bridge position but then over here in the neck position it's negative so uh, when you combine them they would cancel out even though in each of those two different positions you would hear that that harmonic uh, and so that's why when you have that's one of the reasons why when you have uh, two pickups selected you get like a, a quacky sound um, it's because of the the, the harmonic you're getting different harmonics canceling and and adding uh, which is kind of a comb filtering effect but usually comb filtering is because of a delay in a signal. Uh, so this is a different thing. This is sampling, um, I guess sampling or combining two different uh, sine waves, not sine waves, two different sound waves because of they're sampling the same signal at a different position on the string. So yeah, that, 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 that was kind of like the thing that I was like having trouble visualizing, like what what is the difference between sampling a string that's uh, a sound that's delayed in combining it versus sampling the same sound but at two different positions on a string um, the way a pickup does and so yeah I learned a lot uh, I thought this was interesting enough that I would just share it hey so I was just kind of thinking about how you'd apply like this kind of insight um, and so like let's say you have um, your neck pickup selected right 
And uh, so if you think about it, you go from here to here, and then from here to here. So this is around, you know, just right above the 12th fret. Your, your direct, the pickup's going to be directly in the middle. And so you're going to be getting the, that triangle wave um, effect. And the triangle wave is basically like a square wave with a um, fairly aggressive uh, low-pass filter on it. Uh, so you're just getting the odd harmonics uh, instead of all the harmonics. Um, so if you, you know, whatever, whatever riff you want to play, you know, you have this choice, you can play it way down here, and then, you know, proportionately, you're getting more of every harmonic, but if you play it up here, also the, the strings are thicker, which is going to affect the tone, um, but you're going to, you're, you're choosing which harmonics you're going to get, um, and so especially if you're playing with distortion, like, you you know, if you want more of a synthesizer sound, you're going to be playing high, you can play higher up, you get more of like a a square wavy, uh, triangle wavy sound, and then you play down here, you get more like, a, you know, maybe it's better for clean sounds, because uh, you're going to be getting actually more harmonics over here uh, with the same posi position selected. Uh, so yeah, uh, I don't know. That's 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 something that occurred to me. That's, that's kind of how you might uh, think about why it sounds different besides just the, the thickness of the strings and stuff. Um, and how you might use that. Take care. Bye.